you blackmailed. I'll do whatever it takes to bring these people down, Major. So we are prisoners. You're looking like ghoul to me. Maybe he's just pissed because you keep torturing him. Ah. Old Doc Fraser says you haven't been eating. It's poison. It's hospital food. Of course it is. I must have sustenance. Have you met all my dietary requirements? As much as humanly possible. Oh, good, good, because I'm positively famished. I will reveal nothing. Come to torture me? You may begin torturing me. You will descend to a small dark room in the basement of Area 51, and you'll stay there till you come up with a defense against the Ori. Oh, I've already begun. What would possibly compel me to do that? This is the infamous tuna torture. Hunger. Last chance. It isn't very nice, you know, starving a prisoner to death. I will provide you with no information. I wonder what hurts more, the gunshot wound or the hunger? I say we beat whatever information we can out of old Snake Boy, open that gate and toss him back in the sharks. And Dr. Jackson? He is not an issue. Not an issue? As they were our prisoners. We're talking about a friend's life. Prisoners of war. Consider him a casualty of war. We are at war, Elizabeth. The war, there are casualties. We are at war. We are at war. There are always risks in war. I've heard that defense. He's essentially a prisoner of war. Yeah, we also don't approve of torture. That gives him certain rights. And like it or not, this man has rights. Rights, General? I don't know about the customs of your planet. What about the host? But here on Earth, the value of a life is priceless. We are fighting a war for our very existence. I make no apologies for the means. It's about the end justifying the means. And in our profession, that's a very slippery slope. I can get you what you need. Yeah, I've read about your methods. You can't do this. It's murder. That's why you're wrong, Colonel. It's war. We don't stop pursuing war criminals because they have a change of heart. War criminals? Yes, Colonel, he is. He gambled we would show compassion even to our worst enemy. He was right. The only compassion I showed was by not blowing his head off. Look, if you're gonna try to give us some moral justification Please, for what's going Major. on here, we also have to consider the host. I'm sorry, sir, but we are dealing with two beings within one body. I know that you have helped orchestrate the death of ghouls before, assassinated them in cold blood, in fact, without regard for the life of the human host. I didn't create the problem. Neither did I. I am merely trying to help solve it. You assassinate one system lord after another. You take all their ships and warriors, all of whom are willing to die for you. And this is different than the way things are now. How? The Jafar will be free to follow you. Daniel, what are you thinking? Daniel? It's all over. We're free. Just that every single one of these infant ghouls will one day take a human life. And all I have to do is... He's been tortured. <laughs> if we kill them when they're as vulnerable as they are right now, we'd be no better than the Goa old. And I think we all agree. Let's go. That if killing one person could save millions, billions of innocent lives, you would have no choice. The symbiote may be an enemy, but the host is innocent. Oh, come on. How much of the host do you think is still around after all this time? You would do it. You should have shot him. This must be the host. She won't die! She won't die! I've informed the president of our new situation. Our new orders are to cease all medical intervention. That will effectively end his life, General. Where of that, Doctor? Does that give you the right to take another's life? You would do the same. No, I wouldn't. Because then I would become no better than the ghoul. General, this goes against official policy regarding prisoner exchanges. He's not a prisoner. He requested asylum. I'm ungranting it. We do not take revenge like this. We are no better than the Jaffa. If someone close to your family, a dear friend, was in danger of being taken by the Wraith, would you have not done the same? Not if it jeopardized the mission. So in fighting the Wraith, we are to give up that which makes us different from them? Now, granted, you're not the ghouls, but you're still pretending to be something you're not. You know, these Ori are just going to try it again. Probably. Now I suggest you take some time, think things over. Decide if you still want to be a part of this operation. Sam, we could sure use someone like you on the front line. Just think about it. I wish I had no part in this. And this affects us how? And this affects us how? If we do not retrieve him, Harry Mayborn faces certain capture. Torture. 
Interrogation. Perhaps even death. All right, fine. Go get her. Yes, sir. <laughs>